Welcome to our September issue of CCC Trends. A review of new vehicle launches in the U.S. reveals the growing prevalence of advanced driver assistance systems. Technologies such as front crash prevention or warning, lane departure warning, blind spot detection, park assist, backover prevention, obstacle detection, automatic emergency braking, and more. While there's no requirement or mandate from NHTSA that requires that automakers include these features in their vehicles, in March of 2016, 20 major automakers made a commitment that virtually all light-duty cars and trucks with a gross vehicle weight of 8,500 pounds or less will come minimally equipped with AEB no later than September 1st of 2022. This commitment, as well as consumer demand, is driving more of this technology into the overall vehicle fleet today. And while many vehicles on the road in the U.S. are still at level zero with no automated driving functions, we are beginning to see meaningful growth of the vehicles with level one to two automation. The percentage of vehicles with AEB standard across those 20 automakers grew from just under 30% for model year 2017 to just under 50% for model year 2018 and 2019. IIHS and HILDE and other organizations have completed studies to measure the efficacy of various ADAS systems and have found promising results in certain types of driving scenarios. But automakers are still challenged with being able to build technology that can address every potential accident scenario at all traveling speeds, in all weather conditions, and in a consistent manner. Each automaker's ADAS system works differently and often combines different technologies. Additionally, some features take control of a vehicle function while others provide warning. Because ADAS is not helping to eliminate all accidents, repairers are now having to repair vehicles with many more sensors, cameras, LIDAR, radar, and more electronic components than ever before. Many of these components are located on the perimeter of the vehicle in order to gauge the vehicle's surroundings. However, this also means that they are highly exposed, even in minor fender benders. 19% of all non-comprehensive appraisals included a sensor that was replaced, repaired, aligned, or r and in Q2 of 19, but that number was double 38% for current model year vehicles in that same period. Also in Q2 of 2019, 1.3% of all appraisals included the repair, replacement, or r and of a camera. And while the average cost per replace sensor fell 2% between 2017 Q2 and Q2 of 2019, the average cost per camera rose 11% in the same time frame. The remove and replacement of a camera, sensor, radar, or LIDAR may require recalibration, depending on the OE and how its system is designed. Unfortunately, calibration requirements can vary dramatically by automaker, damage characteristics, or even by individual vehicle and ADAS technology, therefore reinforcing the importance of understanding the OE repair procedures. When a part, such as a distance sensor, is replaced, additional database labor time of 0.2 to 0.6 hours is commonly added as an entry such as add for distance sensor. In addition to this, some repairs include separate manual entries for calibration depending on the components damaged or the vehicle repair requirements. The specific parts requiring calibration are not always identified clearly in these manual entries, but the majority do identify a specific ADAS feature. In Q2 of 2019, 2% of all appraisals included an additional entry for calibration, reprogram, flash, etc., up from 0.9% in Q1 of 2017. There is, however, a very wide range in these types of fees, with certain entries including not just the cost of calibration or a fee to drive to and from calibration, but the cost of additional components that may have been found to need replacement during the calibration exercise. There is much hope that advances in vehicle tech such as ADAS will over time lead to fewer accidents and subsequently fewer people and vehicles to fix. However, near-term challenges abound, and certainly ADAS seems to be another factor driving the trend of fewer but more expensive claims. Thank you for joining us for this issue of CCC Trends.